Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the conditional statements o yung tinatawag natin if-then statements. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So we have here a given definition of conditional statements where in the definition is this, like this one an if-then statement is a conditional statement that is composed of two different parts the first one is your hypothesis which is represented by the variable p followed by the conclusion which is represented by the variable q and can be denoted as p then q so, based on the definition na to, guys, kailangan nyo tandaan that yung ating conditional statements, meron lang siya dalawang parts. The first one is your hypothesis, and the second one is your conclusion. So, before tayo magpunta sa ating example sa lower part ng ating whiteboard, let us define first what is hypothesis and conclusion. Pero yung definition natin, gagawin natin nung, ano siya, in layman's term para mas madaling siya maintindihan. When you say hypothesis, isipin nyo na lang sa isang conditional statement. Ito yung condition sa loob ng given statement natin. Later on, ibibigay ko rin sa inyo yung trick kung paano nyo matatandaan na ay itong part ng statement na to ay isang hypothesis. And then, after the hypothesis, we have the conclusion. Isipin nyo na lang, when it comes to conclusion, the conclusion is the outcome. Again, or outcome of the given hypothesis. So, I hope na medyo clear sa inyo yung definition o yung um, distinction between hypothesis and conclusion. So, another form na ko sa inyo about the if-then statement and conditional statement, dati natuturo ko ng grade 8, we are using this kind of pattern. At alam ko naman na sa mismong modules nyo ay meron kayong ganito pattern. You have this if p then q. Ito yung pattern. If p, then q. We know that yung p natin, it represents your hypothesis. Yung q mo naman, it represents your conclusion. So ngayon, sir, um, ano yung isa pang gamit ng pattern na yan? Dito kasi, mapapansin nyo, na if bear lang siya na conditional statement like this one, wala pa siyang word na if and then, may hirapan kayong identify which one is your hypothesis and which one is your conclusion. Pero kapag naka if then form na siya, yung hypothesis kasi natin ay sumusunod siya sa word na if. After ng word na if, automatic, usually yeah, this is your hypotenuse, P. And then after ng word na then, that represents yung part ng statement na yun is your conclusion. So later on, we will be using this kind of pattern para makapag- convert tayo ng isang conditional statement sa kanyang if-then form. So, we have here a statement from Albert Einstein. Sabi dito, Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. So, ang target natin ngayon sa statement na to is that we need to identify which one is your hypothesis P and which is your conclusion Q. And then right after that, after identifying your hypothesis and conclusion, we will create a conditional statement na naka if then form. So again, let me read this one. Look deep into nature and then you will understand bet, everything better. So in this statement of Einstein, uh, this is your hypothesis. Look deep into nature. This is your hypothesis. O yung pimo. Yeah, this is your hypothesis. And sa second part naman natin, you will understand everything better. This is your conclusion. O yung ating Q. Now, after identifying your hypothesis and conclusion, you are ready to create the if-then form of this given statement. So, how are we going to convert this to an if then form. Following this pattern, if P then Q. 
demand again if p then q now let us follow the pattern if p then q so dito since ito yung ating hypothesis ang gagawin mo lang lagyan lang ng word na if pero minsan ina-alter natin yung words para maging okay yung grammar natin pero dito if we're going to create an if then form this is simply if you look deep into nature yan, kung mapansin nyo ito na yung ating hypothesis after no word na if punta na tayo sa ating conclusion then you will understand everything better. So as you can see guys, ito na. Yung ating statement na look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Ginawa na natin if then form. Tapos ito yung word na if. This is your hypothesis. And this is the word then. This is your conclusion. So I hope na sa ating first example, you already know how to identify which one is your hypothesis and your conclusion. At the same time, alam nyo na rin kung paano mag-convert ng isang statement into an if-then form. So, I will give you another example na i-translate natin into if-then form. Now, let me give you examples wherein we have a given statement. Ang gagawin naman natin dito is we will convert this into a conditional statement o yung kanyang if-then form. Then right after that, we will identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. So we are given the statement, you pass grade 8, you will be in grade 9 next school year. Ang kanyang equivalent o yung kanyang if-then form ay simple lang naman. Ito lang siya. If you pass grade 8, ito lang meron tayong word na if, then you will be in grade 9 next school year. So, ito din ating if-then statement. School year. So, ngayon, right after natin convert into conditional statement o yung kanyang if-then form, we need to identify the hypothesis and conclusion. And sabi ko kung ano yung sa ating definition na sa first part ng ating tutorial, yung ating hypothesis ay sumusunod sa word na if. Therefore, this is your hypothesis. You pass grade 8. Then, for the conclusion part naman, alam natin na siya ay yung conclusion natin is right after the word then. At yung ating conclusion, you will be in grade 9 next school year. So, you will be in grade 9 next school year. So, that's it for item number 1. And I hope na natutunan nyo kung paano convert ang isang statement sa kanyang if-then form. And then, right after that, you already know how to, how to identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. Now, for example number two, we are given an example or statement. An equilateral triangle is equiangular. So, first, we will convert this into an if-then form. And then, right after that, we will identify the hypothesis and conclusion. So, the equivalent if-then form of this statement is simply if... A triangle is equilateral, then it is equilangular. Yeah. Since meron tayo ngayong if then form, we need to identify the hypothesis and conclusion. At dito, ito yung ating hypothesis, yung ating P. 
a triangle is equilateral. Tapos, para naman sa conclusion, ito yung ating cube, o yung conclusion natin, it is a triangular. Yan. Ganyan lang simple yung ating topic today. And I hope sa ating tutorial, you already know how to identify which one is your hypothesis and conclusion. At the same time, at yung pinaka-importante, alam mo na rin kung paano mag-create ng iyong conditional statement statement or if then form. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!